Uh, Serena Williams, the GOAT of all time, um, was not just our muse, but was somebody who helped develop the brief and drive us to have a building that had uh, an impact in terms of pushing sports forward, progressing culture forward, and being really thoughtful about the environment. So uh, I'm really happy to say that in many ways this building is a tribute to her. Her as an athlete, as an artist in her own right, and as an advocate for real change. She, she was a part of the process and you know from the drawings to the model to I was with Serena when we took her on a golf cart during the construction phase he was she was moved I mean this is a this is a tribute this is a, a milestone building in our industry Nike's been serving athletes for 50 years, and that has that commitment has been unwavering. Um, but climate change is affecting athletes, um, and they're really having to adjust their schedule when it comes to training or competitions um, because they're dealing with poor air quality, um, excessive heat, um, you know, ex you know, extreme weather um, storms, fires. I mean, all these things are affecting athletes' ability to train and compete and play. You know, you want to be able to just go out and have a run and not worry about, oh, is the air quality so bad that I'm actually not doing myself a favor by doing that? You know, so we know that we have to take a leadership position in helping to combat climate change um, in every way that we can. I think one of the things that uniquely connects sport and sustainability is the fact that they both happen out in the world. Right? And so when we're out enjoying any activity, whether that's playing on the pit, on blacktop basketball, any of those things, you're out in the world and experiencing it directly. And so the effects of climate change, the effects of a changing planet, they, are, they become a part of that. When we want to recycle materials and bring them back into our product, one of the best places we can start is at our own uh, factories. And so we look at the waste that is created there, it's kind of just a inherent part of a lot of the ways of making shoes, and we bring that immediately right back into the product. And so that way it's really efficient, it's less transportation, less energy all around, and we can reuse that Nike grind right away into the things that we make every day. I feel that the building is actually a physical manifestation and illumination of who she is and what she represents. There's so many different enclaves and areas that celebrate the essence of the power of sport, but that also bring to life the richness of culture. There's so many nods throughout this building that speaks to her upbringing and essence of coming from Compton. There's so much that talks about her work beyond just sport and how she has used that as a platform to support both on the court and off the court. 